Okay, so here's what the project looks like now. One minute. Sorry, my camera was underneath my tail. And sorry if the lighting looks a little bit dark. Um, it's dark outside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, that was kind of funny. I said it's dark, but it's, like, actually dark outside. Anyway. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bind off. And now to bind off, we're going to knit two... Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. Stitches. And then we're going to put the right left needle into the first stitch, and then we take the first stitch over the second stitch. And then we are going to move our yarn forward, and we are going to purl the next stitch so that there are two again. And we're going to catch the yarn like this, and then we take it off. And we're going to keep doing that until we've done it to all of our stitches, until we've done it across the entire row. Now that we've finished um, that, we're going to cut the yarn. We'll have a really long tail. I'm going to pull the tail through and then we create a knot. So now what we do is we're going to take our tapestry needle and we are going to thread the yarn through the needle. So what we're, so a good tip is when you're getting your needle ready for sewing, you lick the yarn, put the yarn, stick the end of the yarn in your mouth, 
so that it sticks through or you could just push it through but I find it easier just to lick the yarn because it keeps it moist and then it um, goes through easier that's what the way I learned from my mom and what we're gonna do is we're going to sew this side and once we get to this side we're gonna use this thread to sew the bottom Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to create a knot right here, and then we're going to sew the bottom. And to sew the bottom, we're just going to take our long thread, which we have right here. And we're just going to sew the bottom like this. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're just going to hide our ends and just weave in as much as you can. 
And this video is getting long, so I'm going to try to weave in as quick as I can. And then I'm going to cut the yarn. And what I'm going to do next is I am going to weave in this next end. I'm going to cut the yarn right here, and then now what I do is I'm going to push this out. A good tip is when you're pushing out corners, use like a crochet hook or the end of a pencil so your corners will come out better. So this is what it looks like so far. I know mine looks a little bit smaller, but I used a smaller yarn, but it stretches. But I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. One second. Sorry, I thought my camera was a little bit out of focus. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any video requests, please be sure to leave them down below. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!